Hi, I'm Valerie Greenmoss, the Information Literacy Librarian at North Tech. We're looking at using the web as a research tool. You probably use the web for all sorts of things, maybe buying and selling on TradeMe, internet banking, online shopping, tweeting. You've probably got your own Facebook page. But when you're doing research, you need serious information. Consider this. Who can put information on the web? Anyone. Who monitors what is on the web? No one. So can you trust what you find on the web? When you use traditional print resources, there are certain things you can take for granted. It is published by publishers who have a reputation to maintain. So they carefully ensure that information is checked for accuracy and legal implications. And there may also be a formal peer review process. You can trust print material, well, scholarly information, without question. There are advantages that the web has over print. It is quick and easy to keep up to date. It's available 24-7 anywhere. You don't have to go to the library or a bookshop to find it. It is cheaper to produce than print. It's democratic. Anyone can have their say, whether or not they have something worth saying. Using the web as a research tool means you have to be the judge. You might have heard of the quick website IQ test. Can you identify who put this information on the web and are they qualified to say what they say? But if you're still not sure and you want to look in more depth, here are four simple questions you should ask to help you evaluate a website. Who, why, where and what. 